Hatzin. One of the advantage points of having Bidachon in Hashem is Shabotea Belokim, a person who trusts in Hashem, Mevi Otob Tuna Hashem, Shloy Avol Zulatov, Shloy Klet Kvatoba Hashim. He won't put his faith in any person. Now, let me explain to you what this means. Sometimes a person, it's very deep, by the way. I'll explain to you what it means. Sometimes a person has a rich father. His father's loaded. He has a crazy business. He has a crazy company, crazy real estate, whatever it is. So what does a person say? Growing up, he's like, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, well, I am good. Because my father has a crazy this. But he, that, that, then already, that means you're not, you're not showing you be the in Hashem. A person has my best friend. My best friend. Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> He told me I'm going to be his partner, is this, that, that. And or even if you own, you have to understand something. Chavod uh, is teaching us, if a person has true bitachon Hashem, he won't hope for anybody's help, except Hashem's help. You hear what's going on over here? Sometimes a person in life, he says to himself, oh yeah, I can rely on this person, I can rely on that person. You're not allowed to rely on anybody but Hashem. I, but what do you mean, eh? He says, And you won't show favoritism to them. For example, what happens? A guy's in his business, a guy's in his company, his boss, his boss is Rasha. But this is your company, your boss is Rasha. Now, it's a suit to go and flatter him. Let's say, for example, uh, he's doing Averot. Wow, that was a, I, I can't believe you did that. I don't know, you're legend, you're legend. I don't know whoever does that, you're legend. Why are you doing that? Because you want to kiss up to the boss in order for him to give you a raise or in order for him to uh, 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 like you more so therefore he'll put you in a better position. He says, already, this is not going in the ways of Hashem. Why? Because you're putting your full trust in that guy and give you a call, you're going against in a sense of Hashem, because you're flattering him, you're doing false flattery. Only if you're doing an Averat. Yeah, yeah, false flattery. You're not allowed to do false flattery. You can't, you can't f- flatter the guy. However, if a guy wants to kiss up to the boss, meaning to say, get him lunch, uh, uh, get him a cup of coffee every morning, then already that's nothing wrong. As long as you're having in mind that it's all Hashem, I'm just doing my Hishtadlut. Part of Hishtadlut, yeah, that's part of it. How many times you see all of a sudden the guy gets his boss every day a bagel, cream cheese, tomatoes, this, that, hair, hair boss, this is what I got you today. You should do it. Why not? Why not? It, it helps out, uh, helps you out, it helps you beef up, get a better connection with the, with the boss. Why not? That's it, the loot. But I'm talking about, let's say your boss is doing something wrong. Let's say your boss is doing Averot and you force fly to him. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe you just did that. Amazing. Wow, you're a legend. I can't believe it. Wow, whoever does that. Then already that's wrong. Then already that's wrong. And that's what, that's what the Chavot Lavot is telling, teaching us. Chavot Lavot is teaching us that if a person has true bitachon and Hashem, you won't have to flatter anybody, in a sense, force flatter anybody. You won't have to do anything wrong to people to get on their good side. You know what's right, I do. What's wrong, I won't do. And therefore, he has Yeshua Dad. He has a, a, a complete mind. Well, I don't have to keep on this, that, 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 that. This is one of the lessons he teaches us today.